Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing fabulous. Let's get going. I'm a little late today. I've had a bunch of stuff to do this morning. So Capricorn, better late than ever. Let's talk about the beautiful Capricorns and what messages you have. Thank you guys so much. Ooh, limitless. <laughs> See yourself open to receive the most miraculous ways. The divine can use anything or anyone. Acceptance. Radical acceptance in the now opens the flow. Courage. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that the universe is showing you. Ooh. Freedom. You're being guided to something for your own well-being. When you make a divine, when you make divine intelligence your foundation, you finally have a fixed star to follow. Grab on to that star. You're being guided. Might have to do some clearing here. As true offerings arises, it becomes easy to let go. You start to trust that more will always arrive. You shift from a mine, mine, mine to a God's, God's, God's. Such freedom. Trust. Every person has their own personalized study plan on the earth school. Be individual. Right now. Stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow. You'll soon trust that nothing more will come than can be handled. God's only going to give you what you can handle, uh, nothing more. Let's go. Trusting your intuition. Each person's road to the inner Lord is extraordinary and personal. How liberating to listen inside and sense moment to moment what is needed. <laughs> Strength, courage. God will only give you what you think you can, what you can handle, it won't give you more. <laughs> Follow your heart, Capricorn. Don't stop living your life because of someone else. It'll all make sense soon. Don't spend too much time in despair. Move through emotions and release it. You have so much to offer the world. Don't ever doubt your contribution to it. Explore the possibilities. Be careful who you take advice from. You're currently under construction. Please be patient. To rise, you must let go of fear. Remember, many of the clouds casting shadows aren't real. Remember, you came here to teach others. There's nothing outside of you that can fulfill you. Good luck sometimes comes disguised as bad luck. Don't compare your life to others. This is your own journey alone. There's nothing out there that can fulfill you. It comes from within. Don't fear a blank canvas. Use it to turn your life into a masterpiece. Don't lose yourself trying to hold on to someone else is the message. Let's get some money messages. I've done it. You can lose yourself trying to hold on to someone else. So busy trying to hold on to someone else and fight for something that it's not worth holding on to. And sometimes bad luck is actually good luck. It's, you know, it's happening for your higher good.
ask for help. Look at your financial situation from a new perspective. Someone may enter your life to help you to resolve any difficulties that you're experiencing. Consider careers as firefighters, paramedics, or any uh, rescue or heroic profession. Ask for help is not a sign of weakness. Quite the opposite. It shows your strength. Ooh, envy is here. You could be envying other people's financial success. Try not to live beyond your means. Just try to keep up and try to keep up with others. Others could be envying your success. Be careful who you trust with money matters. Hmm. Stories matter. Your words have a powerful influence on others. Find out how you can contribute. A career in social media management, book writing, content writing, or blogging could be for you. Use words and visualize it as you write them to manifest more money into your life. Science. There could be something unfolding for you. Work with an open mind. Consider careers in science or any job that unveils the mysteries of the universe. Apply a scientific approach to your business or financial situation. Like, don't sink because trying to hold on to somebody. Like, Huh. Something is unclear. Money is either tight or not receiving what you expected. The answers you're seeking will remain unclear for now. Your basic needs will be met. Someone was unreliable. There's some confusion regarding money. People are not following through on their promises and may not be paying on time. Expect, expected money may not be, may not materialize. The people you spend your most time with will shape who you are. Someone needs to do some growing up here. It's time to step into your own power and stop engaging in childish qualities. Don't rely on others to help you and care for you. The mess is yours to clean up. Avoid depending on someone else's income. You have all the skills to make your own. So we could talk, be talking about you or we could be talking about someone else. The person around you. I don't know. It's like... Somebody seems to always be asking for help, always wanting to be rescued out of their situation, but the truth of the matter is, is that they need to grow up and get their own. Stop depending on other people to make it for them. Now, what's going on? Because your emotions are getting in the way, and your emotions could be affecting your financing. You're paying too much attention to your love life and ignoring your career. Uh, earn money doing something that you love or a dream job may be offered to you. There's money being burnt up here. Use caution when making financial decisions. Be careful to not overspend on wants instead of needs. More going out than coming in. That could be you, Capricorn, or that could be the person around you. It's like, don't go down because with the ship, you know what I mean? 
somebody may be always asking for help looking to be rescued all the time Capricorn and it's time they grew up and got their own you could have an emotional attachment to a job that's no longer serving you explore your wants and needs and consider a change if you're unhappy with your income but too scared to make any change then goals don't let the world lead you take this steering wheel and take control of your life this would be a great time to write down your goals and inspirations focus on creating a uh, managing a budget but somebody's a rebel you're a trailblazer meant to see things differently and set a new path for others your rebellious spirit makes you a great system buster or to teach others a better way an old belief system about money could be preventing you from getting ahead So somebody might be believing that every time they ask for help, you're going to rescue them. That's here. I don't know. There could be envy, people being envious of you because you are setting goals, you are achieving, and they don't think, you know, it's like, This is people that always ask for help and expect to be rescued. And because you're emotionally involved somehow, you might be always trying to help others. Or, or you know, if they ask you for something, you're giving it to them. And if you don't do this, you could be facing an unexpected financial loss. A crisis. Deal with things head on and try to prepare for the unexpected before it happens. So, yeah, don't go down with the ship here, Capricorn. If somebody is always asking for your help and you're always rescuing them, every time they need something, they need to grow up. Don't let your emotional involvement cause you a tower a crisis in your own life and if this is you who's in this situation which i highly doubt um you could be in a dead-end job you know what i mean i i, I don't know whose energy we're talking about here because most Capricorns are pretty stable, eh? So people could be keep asking you for money or asking you for loans. Can you help me? Can you help me? And if you keep rescuing them, this is enabling somebody to take you down with the ship. It's like a bottomless pit. going on here who's this envy here this could be people laying guilt trips on you you know Capricorn you've got this you've got that you've got the other thing I need help they need to get their own goals they manifest dark and negative shit spying on your family spending their money on spell work that never works uh that could be the problem why someone's going broke around you too busy spending money spying on you doing spell work on you that never works 
fake friend. Could be a friend of yours, a fake friend since the beginning. Haters that are lying about you, jealous and envious of you. They might send you like hate tweets, you know, so maybe you're on Twitter or something like that. Just little digs, just to lower your self-esteem somehow. Following you on fake accounts. You cut them off, but they're still watching. Capricorn energy, who is this doing this to Capricorn? Who's doing this to Capricorn? Who's doing this for Capricorn? Who's doing this for Capricorn? this fake? No. Someone who is looking to get rescued financially. <laughs> A fake friend. Hmm. Someone you've ended something with. Somebody who is financially unstable. I don't know if this is a cancer. I don't know what this is. They might have splurged and uh, took out a loan for their vehicle or a loan for something. Someone is jealous and envious. Oh, Jesus, you got the three aces lined up here, Capricorn. And in some cases, this could be a child, depending on how old you are, of course. Could be your own kids, you know what I mean? Or this is someone who you've separated with. Looking for a handout. Well, whoever this balance, temperance angel is, they've got the three aces here. And it was looking like a queen of swords is here looking for a handout. They could be spending all their money on spell work that don't work on you, look. Yeah, they're stuck. And they're bitter and they're angry. 
resentful. Hmm. I just think that you've blocked this person, you've walked away from this person. They're pinching pennies. It's like this one is always asking for a handout, expecting that someone's always going to be there to fill their pockets here. I, I, I don't know. I don't know if this is... Because this temperance angel is wealthy. They're the three aces. They're balanced. They're good with their money. Promising, I'll pay you back. I'll pay you back. Friends, this is, could be, <laughs> oh my God. So this is someone who may have ghosted you for another lover. It's whoever that other lover is with is like really immature. They may have a child. I don't know. And it's like... Whoever this is, is a fake ass friend. They're using someone for their money and it's looking like this person is going down financially because they give them money. But they're spending that m money on stupid shit. They're lying about it. This is someone who is deceiving someone. Now, look, I don't know if this is... Fucking going broke. And they're always asking for a handout. It's like they're always looking for charity. They're always looking, oh, I'll pay you back, I'll pay you back, and they never pay him back. They got nothing to pay him back with. So they're broke, and it's like this person, it could be your past person, the person that they're with is causing them to be broke. I, I don't know, this is a fake-ass friend. It could be a Virgo. I don't know if this is a friend of yours or was a friend of yours. <laughs> Someone you work with. And someone is like hearing news. What the fuck? Well, it's the person. I don't know if this is a brother, a friend of, I don't know if this is a brother and a brother's wife. Talking shit about you.
I don't know. Somebody's married here. They're hurting. I don't know who this is. Cause them, whoever it is, caused this person to mistrust the Empress. Oh, Jesus. What the hell is this? Paying to do fucking spell work on your family and you? So I know you're the high priestess, okay? But they hired a practitioner or somebody has hired a spiritualist, a cultist or a practitioner here. So you could be a spiritualist. Somebody hired a, a practitioner here to hurt you. Or to hurt this person. They're spending all their money on spell work. Because of some legal disagreement or something they're having. It's just like somebody cheating somebody or stealing something from this person. This king of wands. There could be a theft here. From a bank. Accounts. Somebody may have gone out, taken out a bank loan. This could be a relative or a family member of your person's family somehow. It's like, I'm going to take out a loan that they know they can't pay back. It's like stealing money here. Maybe somebody is robbing their bank accounts like took out some kind of major financial loan for something but the it's like they're just stealing this money these spells are not working so this practitioner is basically stealing just like money in the bank here single. I don't know what the hell it is. And abundant. And they're heavily burdened with some kind of legalities or something like that. They're exhausted. Um, it's the company that this person is keeping. Now I know this is the devil but They were paying to get spell work done on either this person or you, and it isn't working. In fact, it's backfiring. <laughs> You're collecting more, more, more. This person feels like they're drowning here. This person feels like they're drowning, and it is financially. Someone's going broke here. They keep giving money out people who are I don't know if they're in trouble with the law trouble with legalities
but it's not affecting you, whatever it is. I don't know, maybe it's a, a baby mama who's doing the magic. Okay, that's what's going on here. But it's not working. In fact, what? This person's getting rich off of doing the spell work. they keep looking at well when is the tower going to strike when is this is a crisis <clears throat> a financial crisis this person is in Some chick, okay, it is a chick, who is jealous of the Empress, okay, and their abundance. They're being blessed magnificently here. Uh, you walked away or they walked away from you. You're on a new path. Things are turning out in your favor. Things are looking up for you. Things, there's a lot of positive growth here. Now, the one, whoever this person went to, there's a bunch of people here who may have been leeching off of this person. And this person, like, reaching out, they ask for money, they give it to them. Well, there's in a financial crisis now because they keep helping out these people all the time. And now there's in it, they put themselves in a financial crisis. So they're paying somebody, a baby mama or an ex-wife or an ex-girlfriend. I don't know who it is. It's handouts. Handouts. Every time they call for help, I need help, this person gives. So, they got nothing left to give. They're drowning in financial problems, a financial crisis at a critical stage. The, what am I going to call them besides a chick? The person that they're with uh, could be a guy. I don't know, is depleting their resources. The money that they're giving them is going all to spell work. The spell work isn't happening, isn't working, and this person is getting wealthy off of doing spell work. This person's going broke, is in a financial crisis, due to this person who is spending all their money on a magician. So envious of this empress, I don't know what they're trying to cause here. It's none of the spell work is happening. So they might just be scamming them for their money a fake spiritualist or an actual practitioner who is like, if they know anything about <laughs> practitioner work here, they know they can't affect this energy without affecting themselves. So this practitioner might be being affected by doing all this spell work. It isn't working. So it might be returned to sender here. 
But what it's doing is causing this person's own financial crisis. This is a king of wands here. Who is learning something... I don't know if it's your person doing this or your person's person's doing this, an ex of yours or, or the person that they're with. Anyway, someone is paying an awful lot of money to get some spell work done on some, but this person who is an empress, single, could be a, a spiritualist, a tarot card reading. The, look. They're blessed here. The more spell work they do, the better this person does. So it's backfiring somehow. They cannot do spell work on someone divine. They can't do spell work on this person. They're spiritually protected. Look. Three aces, guys. You're not affecting this energy. A fake friend since the beginning. So this person of yours may have trusted a fake friend. Someone who be f pretended to be friends. But actually they were jealous and envious of this person. So they befriend your person. Get them hooked up into something. They're a fake ass friend is who they are. Spending all their money doing spiritual work against this feminine. It's not working. It's backfiring. It's putting themselves in a financial crisis. This is weird, man. So if you're the masculine here, you may have a fake friend who's doing this to you. Or it is your ex. Either way, someone is an occultist or a practitioner or something on that lines. And they're spending all of their money to get this spiritual work done that cannot be done. You have cut them off. Whoever this is, you've cut them off. But they are following you on fake accounts. Whoever this... Um, tarot card reader is or spiritual person is you've cut them off yeah your haters are bringing you income that's exactly it ignore these fools you're too fire for them they see you getting all this love and they can't stand it. They want you to F up. They're sending you the evil eye. On a mission to turn others against you. They can't stand your creativity. So someone who tries to boss you around and make themselves feel superior. They can't come at you alone because they're scared. A hater is looking to pick a fight with you. Their finances will perish, and they are. Purposely trying to trigger you to, to fuck with you somehow. I, I, I don't know. Because of envy. That's it. 
So if you've cut off a, fr a friend, you know that's who it is, a fake friend. If uh, it's your person, it's who they're dealing with. If it's your ex, it's the person they're dealing with. And for some of you, it's your, like, past person had a buddy. Who they thought was a friend is deliberately trying to fuck them up. Wanted them to fuck up. By probably introducing them to some little uh, fake ass person just to see them fail. It's working, this person is failing. Their finances grown great for a shit here. Hmm. What a bunch of creeps. And it's looking like whoever your past person went to, your person is asking for help, financial help. But you'd be feeding a money, a money pit there. They're in a money pit with whoever they're with. They're spending all their freaking money on unneeded, unnecessary things. Like, they could have, a, be like a spendaholic or something like that. And it's, this person's going broke trying to live up to their expectations. It's looking like... Well, if they weren't so damn envious, then someone may want to rescue them. But the message is here. Somebody is asking for help, but they're unreliable here. Um... I think it's your past person and the person they're with. They're a money pit. They're a money pit. Trying to pull on your person's emotions. I need help. Please help me. I need help. No, they need to get their own finances together. They're draining your person dry. Your person is going broke. Dealing with whoever they're dealing with. sourpuss there I can assure you they may have gotten like I said your person may have gotten advice from someone but it's all gonna make sense soon Yeah, so they figured that they was going to look 
outside themselves, you know, for things to make them happy when they're never, it's a bottomless pit. They're never satisfied. Not ever. And if it's you, Capricorn, who has a friend like this, they're a fake. Good luck. Sometimes disguise comes disguised as bad luck. You might have thought this was bad luck to lose this person or this job or this situation. It was a blessing. Yeah. So this person is losing themselves, trying to hold on to someone else. And if that's you, you need to let them go. You know, this is a person who is drowning in debt. They got to rescue themselves. This could be a friend of yours. I don't know. It's the company that they're keeping anyway. And in some cases, like I said, it's another masculine trying to take down another masculine so that they appear better than what they are. Giving them bad advice about their investments or something like that. Be cautious. Be cautious. 